Hi and welcome to a tutorial of a percent composition. Have out your notes, a calculator, and a periodic table. The percent composition of a compound is the mass percentages of all elements in the compound. You can find the percent composition of a compound if you're given its chemical formula or if you're given the masses of all elements making up a sample of a compound. So example one says to find the percent composition of magnesium chloride. Well before we can do that you need the formula for percent composition. So here it is. Copy this down please. The percent composition equals the mass of an element divided by the total mass of a compound times 100. So if we're trying to get the percent composition of magnesium chloride, the first thing we actually need is its chemical formula. So by now we expect you to be able to know the chemical formula from the name. So magnesium chloride is MgCl2, meaning one atom of magnesium and two atoms of chlorine. So the first thing I'm going to get when I'm solving a percent composition problem is the total mass of the entire compound. So in the compound I have magnesium and I have chlorine. I have one atom of magnesium and two atoms of chlorine. I'm going to multiply those numbers by their mass on the periodic table. So if I look at magnesium, it has a mass of 24.305 grams. If I look up chlorine, it has a mass of 35.453 grams. So for magnesium, it obviously comes out to the same number, 24.305 grams of magnesium total in this compound. But with chlorine, since I had to multiply it by 2, I get a total of 70.906 grams. And then I just add these up to get a grand total. So my grand total is 95.211 grams for magnesium chloride. Okay, And that is the total of the entire compound. Well, to do percent composition, I actually want to figure out the percentage of magnesium and the percentage of chlorine in the compound. So this is where we apply the formula. The mass of the element, so the mass of magnesium, I figured out that was 24.305 grams divided by the total mass of the compound, which we figured out was 95.211 grams times 100. Don't forget to multiply it by 100. Your answer will not be correct if you don't do that. So what I get is a percentage of 25.5% magnesium. This means out of that compound, 25.5% of it is magnesium. So the rest must be chlorine. Well, let's prove it. The mass of the chlorine in the compound was 70.906 grams. Notice I used the total mass. I didn't use 35.54 uh, 453 grams, that's just of one atom, but because I have two, I'm using the 70.906 grams. Divided by the total mass of the compound, which is 95.211 grams, times 100 gives me 74.5% chlorine. And these numbers, to double check and make sure you're correct, they should add up to 100%. If they don't, you've made a mistake. Let's do another example. This next example is quite a bit more difficult. And the reason is because the formula or the um, compound is more difficult. So it's aluminum sulfate. We're supposed to find the percent composition of that. Well, aluminum sulfate is Al2SO43. So the first thing I need is a total mass. So I've got aluminum, I've got sulfur, and I've got oxygen. Well, I know that I've got two atoms of aluminum, I've got three atoms of sulfur, and I've got 12 atoms of oxygen. I'm going to go to my periodic table and multiply those by the mass of each. So aluminum is 26.982, so I get a total of 53.96 
four grams of just aluminum. For sulfur, the mass is 32.066, so I get a total of 96.198 grams for sulfur. And for oxygen, it's 15.999, so I get a total of 191.988 grams of oxygen. If I add these all up, I'm going to get a grand total of 342.150 grams. That is the total mass of the entire compound. But remember, in a percent composition problem, I want to know the percentages of each. Okay? So that means I want to know the percentage of the compound that's aluminum aluminum, the percentage of the compound that's sulfur, and the percentage of the compound that's oxygen. So I am going to do the mass of the element. So 53.964 grams divided by the total mass, which is 342.150 grams times 100. So what I end up with is 15.8% of this compound is aluminum. I'm going to continue. I have to do it for sulfur now. So I know that the total mass of sulfur was 96.198 grams divided by the total mass of the entire compound, 342.150 grams times 100 gives me a percentage of sulfur, which is 28.1%. And then lastly, oxygen. So the mass of oxygen was 191.988 grams, divided by the total, 342.150 grams, times 100, and I get a grand total of... 56.1% oxygen. So again, this is a percent composition problem. So these three should all add up to 100%. That's kind of the way that you can check yourself. But please understand that you needed three answers here in order to complete the problem. Okay, let's go to the third one. Third example in your notes. It says, use number two above. How many grams of aluminum are in 250 gram sample of aluminum sulfate? Okay, this is actually a lot more simple than it looks. So it's telling me that I have a 250 gram sample of the entire compound of aluminum sulfate. Okay, and what I know is that the percent composition of aluminum is 15.8%. So I am going to multiply the total mass of the entire compound by the percentage of aluminum, but I can't leave it in percent form. I have to put it in decimal form. So to do that, I'm going to move my decimal two places to the left. So I'm going to multiply it by 0.158, which is the percentage of aluminum. And I'll get my final answer, which is 39.5 grams of aluminum. So let's just recap what we did. The question asked for how many grams of aluminum are in 250 gram sample. So I started with the sample, the 250 grams, and I multiplied it by the percentage of aluminum. And that gave me how many grams of this sample were actually just aluminum. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. Please visit the website for more help and have a great evening.